Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Yes, you're in the house, yep. Family's in the house. We're at Dab Chanel's 48th World with the family up there as my co-host, okay? Y'all see who we're going to be talking about tonight, and we're going to keep it cute. We are going to keep it cute. All right. I don't know what the hell Candace is out there doing, saying, and embarrassing uh, Baby Riley, okay? Mm, mm, mm. She grew up in TV, Candace. Everybody had issues. Everybody had issues from newborns to infants to uh adolescent teenagers hell seasoned people like me uh college students everybody have problems with their weight okay girl everybody and everybody's gonna talk now see riley was thin there but she looked good because she had them breasts and stuff so she was actually still losing weight but it seemed like she don't dropped a little bit too much weight and that's probably what the people are talking about candy but you know what candy i need you to sit your real housewives of atlanta maybe leaving the show ass down okay that's what i need you to do see riley really looks like that picture like that but she's losing too much weight in her face candy unless she's trying to be a model somebody said she was trying to be pregnant well you know well, that cup don't fall too far from mama because mama got pregnant at, in her 20s too, right? Sometimes our children uh, inherit or they do the same things that we did when we were that age, okay? But you can't keep taking up for your daughter on social media, girl. First of all, you put her on this program, you put her out there in front of center because when you become a celebrity or you become a star, people are going to be looking not just at you. They're going to be looking at your whole family. So if anybody's to blame, it's you, Candy. But we can work it out. We can. Work. I know you're smarter than that, Candy. I know you're smarter than that, girl. I know you're smarter than that. But, yeah, that's what they're talking about, Candy. She was, she really went overweight. She's like her daddy. She's built. She's got stock, okay? Just like that when she was in, um, what, senior year? And she was just so pretty, running around now, trying to wear makeup and hair. And there she go there. But you got to get off of her. You got to get out. You got to let Riley handle people in the public. You can't keep censoring her. You can't keep taking up for her. Because look at here. You need to be in therapy, too, about block. And not only have you in therapy, you need to have Ry uh, Riley in there about block. Because these kids take this hurt with them into their grown folk stages. Okay? But until she can get that worked out in her brain, she got nothing to do with you, can't. ain't got nothing to do with you. Because she might hear, have some ill feelings towards you about messing with a married man and getting pregnant. But she just probably not wanting to say it. But I'm pretty sure she's hearing people. You should be worried about what she's hearing about you, Candy. You got to be worried about that, okay? Let Riley live her life and let these people who want to get on him and shade her for, you know, talking about she pregnant or, or she don't lost too, too much weight. That's, Riley, that's Riley's business, okay? Now, we as parents, we're going to always try to take up our children. We'll go to the graveyard taking up for our children. But one thing we do make, and I had to learn the lesson the hard way too. Your kids are very re resilient. Kids are very well knowing what they can do, what they can't do. And I'm not saying she's attention seeking with trying to look like this. Because you can see she needs to put a little bit more back on. Now, if this is her, she needs to put a little bit back on because we're seeing bone structure unless miss riley trying to become a model the next top model is that what she's trying to do girl she's trying to mix it in where she's learning law and then she turn around here and want to do the modeling thing 
that's a bad mama jamma right there. That's a bad mama jamma. You don't even know what you raised, Candy. Well, you probably didn't do it anyway because Mama Joyce, Bertha, and Aunt Nora probably had that going on with the baby girl. Okay, because when you was on tour, somebody had to keep the baby girl. But we ain't going to blame you because you take care of everybody. You take care of your family, and that's a honorable thing to do. But what I want you to do, Candy, is stop. Playing up in the in in the media about this shit, Riley probably just wanted to go away, and it probably would go away if you stopped talking about it. It's because the rest of the Bravo women, because Garcia Bouvier and her sons, uh, or they got attacked on social media. Get your child off social media. How about that? Get them off social media. Then you don't have to be worried about all of this. Because kids are going to talk. They're going to see a beautiful, beautiful picture of her. And she's thin. Looks like she got a maybe a size 5 or 7 body. But as she get older, unless she's going to become a movie star and, and you know, be modeling shit, she need to put a little bit more weight on, okay? She's a black baby, okay? You got to have that dunk a dunk up there and embrace. But let her do it naturally. Let her do it naturally. And if, if, if she did, Candy, if the people on the street is saying, that she got a surgery. So what the hell? What? So what? She could get her hair done, her neck done, her ankles done, her booty booty done. And who is to tell her otherwise what she could do with her body? You see what I'm saying, Candy? You see what I'm saying? Who child. The child come home and say she a lesbian. You'll sit up there and be fighting her battles for that. I'm telling you, Riley is way before her time. She has more sense than you get her credit for. And this is some serious shit. She dealt with Andy Cohen, and we ain't have no fallout about that. We ain't have no stories about that. But you, you can't keep pushing the envelope. Stop making your child a storyline out there for people to jump on the wagon and give you negative feedback or negative this, negative that. And Riley didn't even ask for you to jump in her battles, I'm pretty sure. Because my child, she went through the teddy bear stage. Yes, the little teddy bear stage looking like the Winnie Pooh. Okay? Yes, she did. But she grew out of it. But she did some stuff that landed her ass in the hospital. She was trying to starve herself. And we know, and I kept trying to talk to her, but see, she'd listen to them friends and stuff like that. But that's what everybody go through, Candy. The weight is a beast, okay? The Because the, the, society gets into us, and we got to look a certain way. Because even you are doing things to your body that you don't need to be doing. If you ain't exercising every day and, and eating properly, don't get no advice out. Because you've already said you take supplements that are uh, appetite supplements. Of suppressors to keep you from eating. That's not a good thing. It's called mind over matter. And if I can get my mind straight, the matter of my situation with my body will be straightened out. But my mind ain't good yet. Because you got to have this. It's all mental. It's like you can have it, but you don't want it. And you be satisfied. Do you understand where I'm going, Ken? You're down 40 years old and you're acting like you're 12. Going around here trying to, oh, you, you're embarrassing her. You, you're truly, truly embarrassing her, girl. That's why she probably don't want to stay in Atlanta. She want to get far away from people that don't know her but think they know her because she's entering into another whole level of being. She wants to be Riley Burris. She don't wants to be Candace's daughter. You understand what I'm saying? Because with that comes a lot of heavy responsibility. She don't want the paparazzi looking at her every day, okay? She might not want to wear makeup. She might want to go all natural. Hell, she might want to pull that weave out of her hair and go back with the fro. That Angela Davis t uh, type of stance. You know what I'm saying? Because she sure was rocking it and girlfriend was looking good, okay? Now, I don't know where she learned her self-esteem or she knows herself for now. But whoever that was, well, I, I just say they've got some praying hands over there in the Burris residence, okay? Because the only thing you have to do, like what I did, I had to pray to God about my daughter. And sooner or later, after she had to have that little hospital stink, and they were going to, like, send her to a site war because they thought she was crazy, she snapped her ass right on out of there. Okay, now she kind of, flip, you know, she's still with the tatty belt stage, but mama is too. Because when you get older, I don't know what it is. You can't get rid of this weight. You be trying. You be trying left, right, front, and center be trying to get. And it still be following your ass. You know what I'm saying? Because I swear, when I had her, um, I was, what, 23? Either way, 
I had them, and I battled that weight gain, weight loss, weight gain, weight loss cycle. But the only time I truly, truly lost some weight, and you could see it because my skin was glowing and I was fresher, I was moving faster, is when you have learned to not take appetite suppressants, not get on these fast diet woo-hoos, you know what I'm saying? But you eat properly, you exercise uh, enough to get the metabolism, you know, running all the time, okay? Because you're going to have more energy, okay? We eat them right, you, you purify your skin, you're getting out the toxins and all like that. But see, Candy, you're doing it the wrong way. So, see, Riley has to look and say, God damn, which way do I choose? I want to be this, I want to be that. And you're confusing the hell out of her by you going and getting weight loss supplements and, and taking them. And that's not, that's not good. That's not good. And it may not be Riley. Riley may not be, as she gets older, a size 5 or 6. And it should not be the status quo that she should be that way. Riley got to be happy with whatever weight Riley decides to have on her body. And Miss Candy going to have to learn that she raised that baby girl right. Because guess what? One day you're not going to be on this earth. And Riley got to have that self-esteem for herself. And you can't give that to her. And I know Riley. From just looking at her and seeing how she moves. That is a smart, intelligent young woman that you brought on this world, girl. So you need to fall the fuck back. You need to let Riley handle these naysayers for die type 10. She probably playing them dust. As she fly away on her jet or whatever you seeing for her or whatever. Because she you got to understand she lived a privy life. And she damn stepped up her game. Living a pre um the uh pre adam pre, what what do you call it prima donna type stance when you got on Real Housewives of Atlanta and we know you a shrewd mother shut your mouth you know what I'm saying you handle that money well you very frugal when you want to be and when you want to splurge you do that whatever happened to her Porsche that she had when she was in high school did y'all uh turn that back in. Because I know she probably ain't driving around in New York. Because New York is really not a city you need to drive in. The taxi is probably what she's using. And that's a good, good thing. Okay. But I had to come on this too. Because I was like, what the hell going on with Riley? Then I saw the pictures. And I was like, okay. Baby girl trying to get too intense with this weight loss. Okay. Somebody need to tap on the shoulder and say, uh, 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 uh. But when you got your mama out there taking these weight loss supplements and this, that, and third, because she don't want to be fat no more, or she don't want to be, uh, I, well, I really want to say, well, since so she's short, you, we would be called, you know, little Penny, Winnie the Pooh, uh, Pillsbury Doe Girls. You know, we, we would. And I understand, in Hollywood, which is the place Candy wants to be, on that Hollywood scene, she's going to have to play the way they play. She's going to have to stay thin. She's going to have to stay cute. And she's going to have to stay smart for her to ma to navigate through this business of Hollywood and the whole gamut of, you know, having fame, fortune, and people idolize you, which is a bad thing if you really think about it. But I don't know. Maybe it ain't too late for Candy to redirect her energy and her to find out what really, what really she wants from this world and the people that she wants around her. Because she's still young. You know what I'm saying? When you hit your fitness, you're either going to be a fool for the rest of your life or you're going to be done learn something. I learned the test of time when I hit 30-something. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I stopped making bad decisions. I started a little me for me, whether I was fat, whether I was uh, skinny, whether I was me to size. Well, you know what I'm saying? It's me. Okay, I'm going to have to deal with that. Just like Riley's going to have to deal with block. Because you think the baby good. You think she could. No, nah, she ain't. But when she comes to you, can go to therapy with her. Hell, she go to therapy for trying to figure out what she want to do with college life. You know, she, I'm sure she always going down there. Or they always summoning her to come down there and say, okay, you done met this plateau. What are you going to do for your sophomore year? Are you still interested in going this course? Or do you have something else you want to entertain? Because you might want to entertain it now while you got the time. And your mama dropping the coin here. Because we definitely don't want you to have to keep coming back with, you know, other projects you want to handle as far as a degree. Because, you know, for it's over with, Riley may practice one or two years and she might be like, oh, I'm going to do something else. <laughs> but see, she's going to be done had the experience as well as the education as well as the pay 
to dictate whether she wants to do that or not. She ain't going to be living on her mama. Watch and see. Riley going to get herself together and with the help of her mama starting that foundation, probably going to be good. But Candy and Blaine look like she going to be something to handle too. She might be, um, what do you call it, Riley 2.0. Cause baby girl Blaze looking at you when she ain't got no food in her mouth or she she feel like she need to eat. She looking at you all kinds of crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's a girl that you ain't gonna have to you can't mess with either. When Candy had these girls, she damn right had these girls. But you got to give it to Block in a sense where, you know, he he wanted you to bring Riley into the world. So you gotta give him those two cents, okay? Cause he ain't worth a dollar and a and, and he ain't worth a dollar, girl. He ain't worth a dollar. Okay, and I could go a little bit more, but I don't want to read blog. I don't. Because, you know, I don't know blog. You know, I really don't. And he's irrelevant, you know. He's a non-motherfucking factor. Non-motherfucking factor. Because Riley going to do good. Regardless of this, she going to have to... It's just something you have to go through. Everybody wants their dad in their life. You know what I'm saying? When the dad is not there, it's no substitute. They just want that. And then when they get to a point where they don't got much, much, much more control and they got their thinking cap on real straight, she might end up just pitying him. You see what I'm saying? The hate would go to pity. The pity would go to forgiveness. And then Brave Girl would have nothing but love. She don't have to fool with him. Don't get me wrong. She don't have to fool with him. But in her mind, she'll be done set the tone or where she want to go with those feelings. Because they, def they definitely need to be worked out. That's what you need to be telling her, Candy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> work them feelings out. And you might need to work them feelings out, too. Because it seems like every time somebody stay blocked, you got to have an ugly face on your your uh your face. Did you not know you was in love with the man? Did you not know you were sleeping with a married man? Did you not know the situation was going to unfold and it was going to affect your baby girl? Hmm? Did you think about that, Candy? No, you did. Because you were young, dumb, and having fun. That's all you were doing. You don't. You weren't thinking about the repercussions of what you were doing. You just wanted to have that man because you wanted that man. Even though you know that man was taken. And Lord knows... I ain't blaming you for that, cause everybody got a they told a hole, a total roll. Well, y'all, y'all know what I'm going with it. But stop putting uh Miss Girl out there for everybody to talk. Cause see, when you talk instead of you hear what is being said and you pay it no mind, that's when you have really matured. Cause ain't nobody put their hands on Riley. Cause people gonna talk. Did you get bullied when you was in school? Hell, I did. Mm hmm. And I was a little fighter, too. I was scrapping everything. I didn't never get suspended because it never was my fault. I was defending myself. But everybody going to have a bully uh, to some degree in their life, whether it's coming from their family or whether it's coming from a stranger. Okay? You're going to be bullied. This is how you deal with it. So I just wish you just fall the fuck back. Okay, Candy? Fall the fuck back. And you worry about your life and securing a uh, uh, good revenue stream for your family, okay? If that's what you want to do. And it seems like that's what you want to do. And ain't nothing wrong with it, girl. Get it, got it good. Take care of it. You're doing that darn thing. But stop taking up for Riley in social media. Just let it ride. That's all you got to do. Because like I said, they don't own your daughter. And they ain't paying nothing for your daughter. So you should pay them no freaking mind, Okay? Bullies was out there with my age group. Bullies was out there with your age group. And hell, Bullies going to be out there for Riley's age group. You just got to know how to maneuver, navigate through it all. Because you put brought Riley in this world. But guess what? It's up to the master to decide when he going to take her back. Because they are all just gifts. All just gifts. So pray for her more so candy than try to take up for her in social media that's the best thing you could possibly do okay now we're gonna get into this story page six wrote about this situation candy speaking out on social media about her baby girl Riley. okay what's her name jessica bennett wrote it out and uh she tied it up real housewives of atlanta star candy birds because bravo fans body shaming daughter riley okay let's see that was something you ain't have to do you don't have to be in the news unless it's going to be about you. But you don't need to be in the news talking about your kids, especially if they don't even want to be there. 
in the first damn place. And I know, because I was watching when Real Housewives of Atlanta when you got on. Riley didn't want to be a part of this shit. And hell, she still don't want to be a part of this shit, because that's your like, and that ain't hers. You see what I'm saying? But anyway, we're going to get on into this story. It says, uh, the reality star says her eldest daughter has been body shamed online. Candy Burris is the latest housewife to talk about the bullying her children had suffered at the hands of Bravo fans. Okay? They, they Bravo fans now, but, you know, then you want some fans, too. See, you can't you can't have it both ways, Candy. You're either going to be in that little pool, fish, uh, fish, fish bowl, that people are going to be watching you every step of your life or you're gonna be like a regular everyday joe person but you didn't want to do that you wanted to be in that stage life you wanted to be in that hollywood life so now you got it and now your other people such as your relatives they got to deal with the uh, the, the blowback the fallback because you can't fight everybody can you can't it's too exhausting but let's go let's go on back to this article it said a mom of three 46 revealed to people on tuesday that her eldest daughter Riley burris 20 was body shamed throughout years i wonder why candy you on tv all the time you doing other things you think people gonna pay any attention and gonna feel sympathetic for your family no they're trying to get stories to report on your family that you gonna have to come out uh and talk about anybody put you the spokes uh the spokesman or, 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 or the ambassador of bullying no 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 that's why you pay your taxes you get a part of that pta program and you stay in your child's school like you need to be well you probably couldn't know that because she grown they ain't gonna tell you nothing because that's them laws some hip ass laws they made it fucked up a lot of people trying to be nosy about their family members then so in a, you're in a sense where brother's got to tell you things you know you can't go and 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 be a part of something that you're not a part of you remember that and that's her life in a sense when it comes to her medical it comes to her dental it comes from any other place unless she puts you as a authorized user to talk to if she's unable to talk for herself you see what i'm saying it's a tricky little situation so you got to have faith in your daughter can that's all you got to do and don't be no poster child for oh bullying because bullying is gonna be it's still out there it was there before we was and gonna be when we gone bullying still is gonna be here but you got to know how to pray with your child and for your child and teach them how to fight okay you know what i'm saying teach, still teach them the moves and everything will be lovely okay but we got um we go back to the article it says i despise it it bothers me so much the former single said or the bullying Everybody already knows that Riley dealt with her weight issues growing up in the public eye. People would make comments on her body and say things about her personal look, and it really boils my blood. Well, honey, you got blazing ace to raise also, too. So I think you better be checking on your boiling of your blood, and hopefully I really pray that you don't get high blood pressure, okay? Because you need to sit back. You need to fall the fuck back, Candy, Okay. Let them learn life lessons, and hopefully you will be there to direct them. But don't be no spokesperson, okay? When Riley still had to deal with things, like every other individual going to have to learn to deal with things and give them resources, okay? But you ain't got to make, see, you, you're talking about her, and she probably didn't want to be talked. She probably didn't want you to even say anything about it because she was embarrassed herself. You understand? It's called Play your lane, Candy. Play your right lane. And right now, you just ru you're running in circles, baby. You're running in circles. And you're going to hurt Riley by doing that, bringing up stuff that she felt like she done dealt with and don't want to hear about it no more. Okay, but going back to the article, because you got me heated over here, looking out, reading this mess right now about what you done did, what you done told a reporter from a major magazine. Girl. Oh, but anyway, going back. It says, Candy added that as a reality TV star, she can deal with anything, but would never want her kids to be bullied online. Well, see, this whole thing didn't come up uh, until Garcelle, uh, two sons or one son, I think it was Jax, he got bullied, okay? He got bullied. And, uh, you know, it, it just, you know, First of all, how did he get, how did the people that were bullying him got his, uh, what is it, um, what is it called? 
social media address. You know, how did they get his Gmail? How did he get his Yahoo? How did they get his AOL uh, email address? Or how did they get his telephone number to be able to text him and talk about these things? You see, Jax is going to have to learn a valuable hard lesson, too. Pick your friends carefully, okay? Because everybody wants a story out here. They want to get paid for a story. They're ready to drop tea on their special uh, people that they like, especially if they were just with them and around them. And I'm pretty sure Riley ain't with nobody. <laughs> Riley trying to be to herself, get her education, and then live her life. She ain't trying to be in the spotlight, okay? At least I don't think she is. Okay, because Candace had tried to make her a little rapper run around him to diss her daddy on, on the record. I don't forgot, better than later, I think it was. I'm like, see, Candace, you need your ass whooped for that. Because little do you know, that little girl probably still like her daddy. And want her daddy to be a part of her life. And how he run around here with his ragged ass. He, whoo, child, let me just stop. Let me just read this. <laughs> let me just read this, okay? Oh, it says, um... The actress, who is also a mother to son, A6, and daughter, Blaze 2, continued, the people who watch our show and who are on our show, sometimes they take things too far. And it's not cool. It's crazy. This is a TV show at the end of the day. No, Candy, it's a job. Okay, baby? It's a job for its entertainment. And when you sign on that dotted line, sign your life away. Okay? I hope you ain't doing nothing else. I hope you ain't sacrificing nobody. But... You put your family in this position. You did that. All right? You decided you wanted to have a family that everybody and anybody is going to try to get stories on. So if there's anybody to blame, let's put the blame at your door and Block's door. Okay? Let's go way, way on back when shit really started cooking. All right? But let's go on. Let's go on. We can to join the Real Housewives of Atlanta during season two. Riley was only seven years old and was forced to grow in front of the cameras. Yep, because her mama put her in that situation. Okay, yep, her mama did that. Because she didn't have to be forced. She didn't have to be a part of any of this stuff. That's why I hope Candace really watching and Todd is really watching. Ace has a, a, a fascination with wanting to be behind the cameras. But things like that may dry up soon. Don't push them, okay? Because I'm surprised you even pushed them in the life uh, doing this now. Because he not only has to go to school, then he's going to have to learn lines and be a part of the acting world. And it may be exciting now, but what is he going to do when he don't want to be excited? He don't want to go to rehearsal. He don't want to do this. Are you going to gracefully let him buy out? Or then you're going to put in... Well, you wasted all this time. You know, try to talk him into it. Okay, but that's just my ideal. I'll let you leave and think about that one, Candy. Okay, and going back to the article, it says the college student, who is now 20 years old, has taken a step back from the show, but that doesn't deter the trolls. Okay, words definitely matter. I've seen one of my kids definitely get bullied multiple time, times, Candy said, adding that just last week somebody was posting that Riley was pregnant, and she was so upset about it. Okay, I'm like, okay. Oh, <laughs> I don't told you to get her in therapy. I guess all uh, reality children, stars, or, or celebrity children, they need to go to therapy. They need to have an outlet. They need to talk to somebody non-biased, okay? Non-biased and have no real understanding of what the person is going through, okay? That's just, that's just what it is, okay? In certain professions, you need to go see a therapist because if you're one of the counseling type therapy people you take a lot of shit in and you're gonna have to release that stuff or it would drive you crazy okay so get the child in therapy candy i mean i heard she was in therapy just uh for school related stuff but we need to go a little deeper we need to go a little further back so we can work out some things so it won't be a problem uh with her going forward okay but um let's see yeah, they saying she was pregnant, but in the pictures now, ain't no lie. Nobody, they ain't nobody lie there, Candy. When you sit up there and hold your stomach the way she was holding her, maybe it was just the angle. Who knows? It seemed like she was pregnant. Yes, it did. So you can't blame uh, people for talking about it because they see something. I mean, was it Photoshop or whatnot? And, you know, like I said, 
people gonna talk about you. Hell, they talk about uh, Jesus Christ and crucified him, and he did nothing wrong. So what? What makes you think Riley is even? Um, it's not that special, or, or she she's not worth being talked about. Everybody's worth being talked about. You might not like what they're saying, but you know what you can answer to too, and you know what not to answer to. But that particular picture, it seems like she's malnutrition. You know, it's it's not a flattering picture of her from the pictures that I've definitely showed where she is about that business. But it's not an ugly picture. It's just had a little concern that somebody's looking at her and, you know, they're not seeing her as they used to see her. Because Riley didn't go off to college fat. She dealt with that fat on her own. See how she was really giving her Angela Davis look. That was no fatness there. That's that shows a healthy body type. Okay. Everybody can't be no size two and talking about they thirty and forty years old. And you looking all anorexic. Nah, that that's don't work. You can't be the size you were in high school in your forties and fifties. You know what I'm saying? Unless you had that same body type and you were eating the same way and you know what I'm saying. Okay. So let's go back. It says she was like where are they getting this information from? Here I was feeling good about myself and losing and getting my body where I want it to be. And now they are posting that I'm pregnant. That's crazy. Well, I'm glad Riley's getting it out. But she got to understand again. If the people ain't for her, you're going to have people against her. And that's just the way of the world. Okay. And then the other picture, I mean, it's article talking about uh <coughs> like i had mentioned garcia's uh son jacks had got bullied uh in, <coughs> in online and whatnot okay but again you got to learn what you sign up for you know you're going to be plastered everywhere and it doesn't it's not like you got to take all the good and don't think no bad is going to show up at your doorstep because that's the yin and the yang that's karma so you got to learn how to deal with it, Candy. And I shouldn't even have to be telling you this. Or other people that really believe in what I'm saying. You're a grown-ass woman. Got three kids. You know, well, you might not know better. But I know Aunt Bertha and, and, and Mama Joyce and Aunt Nora know better. So you might need to consult with them. Okay? Well, that's all I got for this video, guys. Okay? So, Candy, you need to watch what you're doing and you're saying out there about your daughter and it will not be an issue and you're gonna have to teach riley to not think that it's gonna be a concern of hers or what people think about her because they don't know her they don't pay her they're not grooming her she don't live with them so what the fuck she care about what they say does it may hurt when you first hear it yes but then she just keep on flossing she keep on shining and then hopefully they'll move on to somebody else and if not who cares they don't run her life they don't do nothing for her. Okay? But breathe the same air. That's it. And get her therapy about her dad. And stop talking about her dad. Don't talk about that brother in, in, in the uh, news anymore. He know what he gonna do. Because he sure went up there and had uh, Vlad TV just embarrassed the hell out of his ass. Okay? And I'm still trying to figure out what you saw in the man in the first damn place. It must have been a dick, can It must have been a dick. <sighs> but anyway, that's all I got for this video, guys. If you like it, love it. You gotta have my hug. Please subscribe, like my video, share them if you will or must. Okay, but the least thing you could do for me is uh subscribe. Okay, subscribe. Tell other people to subscribe. Okay, and like the videos. And I will see you on the next one. Bye bye.